Hello, today's video is on our stock number 35623MI, a uh, submersible pump from the manufacturer's part number DK-5000. Uh, it is rated at a uh, 110 volts AC, so it is highly recommended that you use a GFI circuit to plug it into uh, for safety, obviously. Uh, it comes with a 15-foot cord, standard US plug and it has a, uh, a flow rate of 500, I'm sorry, 5,000 liters per hour, which is about 20 gallons per minute for our USA standards. Uh, that'll depend a lot on what the head pressure is. Uh, obviously, it, you know, the higher the head pressure, the lower the, uh, the flow rate. It uh, has a maximum head uh, pressure of five meters, which is about 15 feet. So uh, we'll make a video showing it running outside just to, to give you an idea on it. It is designed for uh, what they call clear water, uh, no contaminants, no, will not work with pond water or anything like that because there is no filter on the input. So uh, um, it, you can make or have a filtering system It probably could get it to work, but as is, it will not work with contaminated water. Okay, it had, this is the output. It has a nice standard, uh, get this out of the way here, nice standard size for the garden hose, which is nice. So you can just use, use that. Or it comes with or it comes with a, a little bag of accessories. Uh, it comes with four little rubber feet to go on the, the bottom of the unit to help with uh, noise and vibration. Uh, brass fitting, uh, a little gasket that will obviously fit onto the, the top of the unit itself. Now, uh, I ended up buying some uh, three inch inside diameter clear vinyl tubing. It's pretty soft and flexible. I tried some of the other reinforced or other type of tubing. It seemed to be very difficult, very difficult to get into uh, on the end of the bib. So like I said, probably some nice soft uh, 3 8 inch clear vinyl tubing. And I would probably recommend a tie wrap or some other clamp to keep it on there, especially if you're using it for any type of high temperature, uh, high temperature, uh, head pressure. Okay, here we are outside. Uh, the pump is submerged in a five gallon bucket. It's hooked up to the top of the ladder. That measures just over 11 feet from the very top. As you can see, uh, greatly reduced volume flow because of the, the head pressure so keep that in mind the higher you go the less fluid it'll, it will pump this will give you an idea of, of what it's like at 11 feet now here we have cut the uh, the hose down to about one foot and you see the volume is greatly increased in fact you can see it draining the bucket very very fast give you an idea of the flow with a low head pressure Hopefully, this answers some of your questions. Thank you for watching our video.